sixth grade. Today you're going to be able to get your own paint. You're going to pick two complementary colors and I set them up on the counter in pairs. So purple goes with yellow, blue and orange are together, and red and green are together. And then you can take a squirt of black and white as well. You're going to mix your very own colors today. I want you to play around with making things darker and lighter just by using the complements at first. So if I wanted to make a dark yellow, I'd scoop some over here. I'd take a touch of purple, mix it in very slowly, and you can see that I'm making almost like a mustard color on my plate. Then you're going to use that paint in your composition. So starting from the top to the bottom, top and working bottom, or flip so that you turn your paper around. Sorry. You want to make sure you're not getting your arms in it and smearing what you've already worked on. Do your bigger areas. Stay nice and neat. Keep the, the paint on the tip of your brush. You can always go back and get more paint, but I want you to start out small because I don't want a bunch of paint thrown away today. So you're going to stay within your own pencil lines, turning your paper as you need to to get to different areas. If you don't like a color, the cool thing about temper paint is you can always paint over it. So like this is kind of a brownish blah color, but it'll look kind of neat when I use um, straight purple and straight yellow next to it. Um, so when you want to change colors, you're going to rinse. You can make light versions. So remember, always start with the lightest color first. Like if I wanted to make a very light lilac color, I'd start with purple or white, and then I'd put the purple into it and stir it in slowly until I have the darkness achieved. You don't want to go dark and then try to get light because you will just get a big giant pile of paint that will be very hard to um, make the color you want it to be. So you're going to be painting the entire thing using only complementary colors and different versions of your mixtures. Staying nice and neat. I am grading these, so you want to make sure that you are doing the, a neat job painting really carefully. Um, I would suggest wearing a smock. At the end of class, you're putting it on the drying rack. You can throw your plate away. This brush needs to be washed by you, and I will be doing a demonstration right after I'm done with this to show you how I want it um, washed, and then your cups can be dumped, rinsed, and put on the counter. All right, so we are coloring our compositions with complementary colors.